the studio that invented funny brings you seven new cartoon videos and a bunny. That's eight big cartoon collections. Watch out, Doc. That Oscar-winning rabbit plays it again with Sam and Daffy and Porky and Pepe and Tweety in Carrot Blanca, Looney Tunes Goes to the Movies. Next, it's the acme of cartoon entertainment, the Roadrunner and Wiley e. Coyote in Chariots of Fur and five other cartoons. Steven Spielberg presents Animaniacs, the world's most terrifying creatures. You are not a bat. This is... Are scared to death in spooky stuff and... LA Town is falling down while the ground moves around. We won't let it get us down. We're Californians. Sing along, dance along, baloney in your pants along with Animaniacs sing along mostly in tune. Next. Stand by. Steven Spielberg also presents Pinky and the Brain. The global village is ripe for conquest. We must run for our lives. In Pinky and the Brain's World Domination Tour. And a heartwarming holiday tree. Just act natural. A Pinky and the Brain Christmas. And Steven Spielberg proudly presents... Spielberg eats this stuff up. Tiny Tunes. <laughs> Submitted for your approval for Portraits of Terror. You say? Crazy, you say? Well, would a madman do this? <laughs> tiny Toons Night Coolery. And a Tiny Toons holiday classic you can share with your family. Mm, season's greetings, you awesome audience. It's a wonderful Tiny Toons Christmas special. Seven new cartoon videos and a bunny. That's eight big cartoon collections. Own them on video. That's all, folks. <laughs>
I've got to call Gumby and Goo to help me find Minga. Telephone. Thanks, Dad. All right, Prickle, what's up? Gumby, Minga has disappeared. I can't find her. You stay there. I'll phone Goo and Pokey to help. Will do. Hello? Gumby's farm. Denali, please put Goo or Pokey on the phone. They haven't been here all day, Gumby. Thanks, Denali. Mmm, that's strange. They were supposed to be there. She disappeared over there somewhere. And some marbles she was riding on. If Minga is in there, we'll have to act fast. Come on, Prickle. Fasten your safety belt, Prickle. This could be dangerous. This indicates a large spaceship in Sector 4. Identification, W. That must be what we are looking for. Set speed at two parsecs per hour. Something strange is going on. We're losing power. Gumby, maybe that explains it. Wow! Not a what. We're helpless. Some force is pulling us toward that rear entrance bay. Minga has to be aboard this ship. Unless there's another ship in this book. Let's search this thing. the center door. Well, let's go in. Gumby, look. Stand back, Prickle. It disappeared. Let's try another door, Gumby, before our heads roll down this hallway. Don't worry, Prickle. I think this is the right way. Come on. Keep alert and look for any movement. Are you kidding? <laughs> These are nothing but trick apparitions, Gumby. Right. I suggest that we run the rest of the way. Good idea. Let's go. <laughs> Looks like a pumpkin door. No way to open it. Stand back. Let me try this. <laughs> That's a weird witch. 
Why, that's the witty witch. My dear children, I brought you all here today to show you that witches are... <laughs> 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 I wanted to show you children that witches are not mean. We care about children and want everybody to have fun. <laughs> Thank you, Gumby. What about Ninga? Right, Prickle. I'll ask her. Uh, <clears throat> Ms. Witch, my sister Minga is lost. Have you seen her? Sorry, your sister is not lost. Come on up here on stage. Linga, linga, yabba dabba doo. Linga, linga, doo. Hi, Gumby. I'm okay. take a ride on that ship again someday. Next time, let us know where you are. We were worried about your safety. Oh, I'm sorry. I promise to let you know next time. watch the World Series on our new big screen TV. Who wants to go with me? I do. Uh, me too. I'll go. Uh, count me in. I want to go, but your mother won't let me in the house. You can watch through the window, Denali. Come on, guys. <laughs> Off to see the World Series. Uh, is this the World Series football, soccer, basketball, and tennis? <laughs> no, Pokey. It's just baseball. Oh. <laughs> Denali and Tilly, you go watch through that front window. me. I'm watching Funny Bunny. It's time for the World Series now. Mom said it's my turn to watch TV. No, not until this is over. You guys have a seat. I'm going to see Mom. Mom? Yes, Gumby? Mango won't let us watch the World Series. It's already started. She knows better. Well, I'll speak to her. Minga, it's Gumby's turn. Hand me the remote control right now. Nuts. We missed seeing the two-base hit. 
right, the bases are loaded, the crowd's going wild, and here's a pitch, and there goes a big one, he's going to have crowd, he's going to miss it, he's clear, the pitch, oh! Oh, dinosaur chips, I'm getting real frustrated. Me too, Minga's being real mean. Well, let's teach her a lesson. I'll switch to Pirates of the Barbary Coast. What is it? We found a stowaway, sir. Ah, this is getting interesting. Aha! What do we have here? Come in here, young lady. Well now, what's your name, young lady? Minga. You're a pirate. That's right, Minga. <laughs> and you're not really the captain of this ship. You stole it. <laughs> You're a smart girl, ain't you? You are just the girl I need for my ship to wash my dishes and scrub the deck. <laughs> hey, this is getting good. a slave trader. I can get a good price for this girl, Minga. Hey, he's going to sell Minga into slavery. It's time for me to step in. Gumby! Shh! Oh, another stowaway. Seize that green one and lock him in the hole. Stay right there, Minga. Hey, this beats baseball. Surprise, you guys. about the baseball game. You know, I didn't miss the baseball game one bit. <laughs> I see we're going to need another TV set. Darling, she was so dirty. I put her in the washing machine. Let's go see how she looks now. Oh, dear! <laughs> Listen, darling. I want you to go into Toyland and pick out a new doll all by yourself. I'll ask Goo to go with you so you won't get lost. My sweetheart will have a wonderful new doll. Now let's go into the living room and talk to Goo.
excuse us a moment, Gumby. We had a disaster with Minga's doll in the washer. She needs a new one. Goo, would you go with Minga and help her find a new doll? Oh, sure. I'd love to. I'm sorry you'll miss seeing some of the ball game. It'll be more fun going with Minga. Peanut popcorn. Dogs, clothing, and accessories. would never let you put it in the house. I won't take any other one. This is the only one I want. Daddy will build a house for her in the backyard. Well, then it's up to me to get it home for you. She's all right, son. Just fainted. You might look out in the backyard. Something strange is going on out there. Gumby, this is my new doll. Oh, I thought you got it for Denali. Minga, you must take that doll back. You can't have it here. It's much too large. Oh, <laughs> it's the only one I like, Daddy. Dad, wait a minute. I think I know a solution. Too bad Minga has to take back her new doll. Maybe not, Mom. Hello, Professor Cap? Oh my, as soon as I hook up and start the generator, we'll be ready to shrink. Oh yes. Minga? Why did you pick out an Eskimo doll? Oh, I thought Denali would feel more at home having someone else from the Arctic to play with. You know, Tilly, I don't see anybody in there watching the ball game anymore. Oh, I think all the action is in the backyard. Let's go see, Denali. <laughs> Melvin! What size do you want this doll to be? Oh dear, poor Denali. Tilly, look what you did to Denali. Oh, bark, bark, bark. I feel awful about this. Bark, 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 bark. Oh, now, now, don't you worry about Denali. I can fix that. <laughs> yes. Mom, I like Denali this size. No, Minga. 
You set Denali down there and come over here. You've got your doll. Enough is enough. <laughs> Will you insert this paragraph in my report? Fire away. The large supplies of guns, uniforms, ammunition, and soldiers from France enabled the American Revolution to succeed. Washington was grateful to Lafayette for... Gumby. Yes, Mom? I'm worried about Minga. She should have been home three hours ago. You'd better go find her right away. Sure, Mom. Prickle, will you come help me find Minga? Why, sure. I'm a detective, remember? Sure, that's why I asked you. Here's your hat, Sherlock. Thank you, sir. Now, first, I must examine Minga's room for clues. These pictures indicate Minga has an interest in caverns. That's right, ever since she learned about them in school. Gumby, do you know what pair of shoes is missing from that shoe rack? That's where she kept her hiking shoes. Uh-huh. I'm now ready to go find Minga. We'll need a flashlight. I'll get mine. Flashlight is gone. I'll have to borrow Dad's. We should find her here in a book on caverns. There might be many books here on caverns. We'll have to search through all of them. Hey, wait a minute. There's a bicycle. Is that Mingus? I'll take a closer look. That's Minga's bike for sure. Boy, there sure are a lot of books here on caverns. I suggest we try the book closest to the bike. Prickle, you wait here. I'll be right back. We might need some rope and stuff. Gumby, point your lamp light down here. Those are Minga's footprints, all right. And they lead that way. Gumby, the footprints lead right into this room. Uh-oh, there's a hole in the floor. Help! Did you hear that? Yeah, sounded like Minga. It came from that hole. Gumby? That's very good, Denali. 
I made your favorite breakfast of buckwheat pancakes and real maple syrup. Thanks, Mom. Son, that was a brave deed you did, rescuing Minga from that cavern. When you're older, I'll make you a member of our emergency rescue squad at the department. Really, Dad? Wow! fire today at Bigger's department store. Daddy? Yes, Minga. I'll be right there. I promised her a story before she went to sleep. Daddy, will you tell me a story about a horse? Sure will. Let's see. Now, uh, uh, some time ago, on a ranch in Arizona, there lived a little girl named Sally. Her mother and father bred and trained quarter horses for racing. Sally had an older brother who helped train the horses. Did Sally have her own horse she could ride? No, Sally wanted a horse of her own badly, but her father and mother thought she was too young to handle a horse. Besides, she had a cat, a dog, a parrot, and five rabbits. Five rabbits? That's right. Now one day, her father brought into the corral a beautiful horse he had found running wild up in the mountains. He felt this horse could become a champion, so he told her older brother, Tom, to start taming it. Tom started by trying to ride the horse. Okay, son, mount the horse. Hang on, son. You're doing fine. Uh-oh. I'm relieved to see you're okay, son. He's a wild one. I'll have to ride him myself. Okay, son, open the gate. Well, I'll have to get rid of that wild horse. A quarter horse is no good unless somebody can ride him. That's sad. He's such a beautiful animal. Daddy, let me feed and take care of the horse for three weeks. If by then he lets us ride him, can it be my horse? Sure, Sally, but it will take a miracle to tame that horse. Daddy? Was there a miracle? Did Sally get the horse? The miracle was Sally. At first it seemed impossible for her because whenever she tried to give him food, he would run away. But Sally was very patient. 
Soon the horse would eat a carrot from her hand and let her pet him. Sally showed him she really cared for him. Then in the third week, something wonderful happened. We've been friends now for almost three weeks, and I don't even know your name. <laughs> My name is Cloud. Oh, you can talk. Wow. Uh, well, Cloud, mine is Sally. Well, Sally, would you like a ride? Sure, Cloud. Hop on. Would you like to try a fast gallop? Sure, Cloud. Son, get the pickup. That horse is running away with Sally. We've got to go after them. I have a special treat for you. Hang on to my mane. Well, bake my potato. That horse flies. How are you doing, Sally? Fine. Okay, now we'll have some special fun. Go back home, Cloud. My father and mother will be worried. All right, Sally. Tomorrow, I'll give them a ride. Well, I've got to call the Air Force, dear. Oh, my! Sally must be lost. That's right. Looks like Sally. That's right. Well, I'll have to call off the Air Force. Want to ride on my horse, Daddy? like my new dress? It looks stunning, sweetheart. Let's go. Good night, sweetheart. You are to go to bed now. Oh, Mother, how about till this show ends? No, right now. Gumby. Be sure Minga stays in bed and goes to sleep. Don't worry, Mom. I'll look after her. Come on, dear. We'll be late to the fireman's ball.
which is two plus two. Four, you made it five in your formula. I did? <laughs> well, that's the way the space... Hey, I like that. I'm going to try it out for a minute. I can go to sleep. Gumby? Gumby? Gumby, where are you? Oh, there you are. Dad will be back any minute. Guppy, we're home. We had a wonderful dance. How is everything here? Very peaceful, Mom. Everything's under control. What do I 
Before you bake it, you put it in the pan, place it in the oven, turn on very low just to keep the dough warm. Leave it in there for a half hour to let the dough rise. Mother, what does rise mean? Well, when you put the right amount of yeast in the dough, it will make the dough expand or grow big. If you put in too much yeast, then the dough might rise right out of the oven and make a mess in the kitchen. Oh, I hope it doesn't do that. Ha <laughs> ha No, it won't do that. I'm going back to my sewing. You call me when the half hour is up. All right, Mother. <laughs> of the abominable snowman has found on the snowy slopes of Mount Everest at an altitude of 17,000 feet. Humans find it impossible to breathe at this altitude, but the abominable snowman can live at... Now here you see a rare shot of the abominable snowman carrying a deer on his back. He's taking the deer home for supper. Here is his home we photographed earlier. We hiked all day to get this shot. The air was so thin we had to breathe oxygen from tanks we carried on our backs. Once the abominable snowman saw us, he ran away so fast we never saw him again. Fire department? Oh yes dear, I'll be right there. in. I'll cut him off at Lexington Avenue and dissolve the dough with water from my monitor. Oh, Gumbo, here it comes with our manga. Be careful. Just keep down, dear. Kidney beans. My water tank is empty. Hello, Gumby. Minga's in trouble. We need your help right away, son. I'll give you directions.
Abominable toe creature. Give it your best shot, Denali. sleeping in this morning. That's unusual. Well, night before last, Minga was at Alice's slumber party. You know how much sleep they get at those parties. Oh, that's right. <laughs> what are you doing today, son? I'm going to plant some beans and tomatoes, then bale some straw, after Pokey and I harvest the rest of the oats. Oh, that must be Prickle. He's early. Come in, Prickle. We're in the kitchen. I'm sorry I'm early, but there was no traffic this morning. It's all right. I'll go get Minga ready. Good morning, Prickle. Good morning, sir. Want some breakfast? Uh, no, thanks. I had a lot of fresh spinach this morning. Uh, this should be enough. Prickle, let her pick out any kind of pet bird she wants. Poor girl, she wanted a horse, but this neighborhood isn't zoned for horses. I understand, sir. stable at the park for a horse? The park is too far away. When you're older, we'll work out something. Now you go with Prickle and get your pet bird. This is a parrot. Minga, this is a parrot. Oh, he's cute. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> I want this one, Prickle. <laughs> I want this one, Prickle. <laughs> Can I help you, sir? Can I help you, sir? <laughs> How much is this bird? Uh, how much is this bird? Only two thousand dollars. Only two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. Let me out of here, Helen. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Minga. That's too much for us. That's too much for us. Oh, phooey. I'd still rather have a horse. Oh, phooey. Oh, phooey. Let me out of here, Helen. Oh, phooey. Ah, I 
have an inexpensive bird that the young lady can ride on. Fire Department quickly put it out thereby saving the company millions. In another news today, the Mother, I got my bird. Look. That's wonderful, dear. <coughs> <coughs> What happened, dear? Uh, the bird ran away with Minga, sir. Can I use your phone? Sure, Prickle. Ran away with Minga? What kind of a pet bird was that? Hello? Oh, hi, Prickle. What? We're on our way. Hey, guys. Minga's in trouble. Come on. back in Toyland. You're right, Pokey. I overestimated the power of my jeep. Goo, it's up to you to stop that ostrich. I'm on my way, Gumby. <laughs> What happened, dear? Oh. The Adventures of Gumby. Oh. Is that Gumby? Yeah! Get him! Look at that! It's Gumby and his world of new wow. adventures. Go off-road with Gumby on wheels. <laughs> or burn rubber with Gumby <laughs> Racer. Or take on the blockheads with Gumby Ninja. Each playset comes with Gumby computer coloring disc you create with. Gumby and the Gumby playsets from Trend Masters.